Hi, I'm Marcy Dagman, Aspiring Gardener, and today we're going to talk about caring for a blood good maple. Now, though, this is a type of Japanese maple, um, Acer Palmatum Blood Good. And what that means to me is that it's going to be a much smaller maple, probably about 18 feet tall. Because they're small, a lot of people are able to grow them in containers, just like all the other Japanese maples. You may need to up the container size at some point. On the other hand, you can pull them back up later and you can actually root prune the tree. What you want to remember is that the canopy and the roots are kind of going to match. So you'll probably want to shrink the canopy in as well if you do that with the roots. Otherwise, this one has quite a while to go before I need to worry about it and they'll do really well in a container this size for a number of years. So what I do right now while it's young and it's fairly newly planted is make sure that I give it plenty of water because like any tree until it has time for the roots to establish whether it's in the ground or a container keep it well watered but make sure it's good draining you don't want your maple to sit in water if I were getting into too much sun I'd have burnt leaves but you can see the new growth is good and healthy if you notice that you have burnt leaves then you want to make sure you're watering or maybe move it to a little bit shadier position in the afternoon. But as a rule, blood good maples do pretty good in the sun and sun will help bring out the color of your tree. Now the other thing you want to do is occasionally, especially in a container, you're going to want to fertilize. And what I like to do is I like to give my trees a fertilizer spike. Now that's going to be pretty much a small spike for this size tree. As they get bigger, I'll use two or three. I don't like the large ones because I feel like they're too damaging to the roots when you poke them down in there. But all you do is kind of make a little bit of an indentation into the soil and just slip that down in there. And what that'll do is slowly release fertilizer. Now you can do that once a year and usually the best time is spring or fall. I like to do my trees and my shrubs in the fall. The other thing is that maples like a little bit of acidic soil. So I like to go and bring fir needles. This has pine cones and other things in it that I just find underneath my trees. Now if you don't have that, you can find some other kind of compost. And that'll also give nutrition and hold the moisture in. So I'm just going to put that on the layer of the top of the soil around my tree. Now the nice part is that's pretty much all you have to do to have a healthy blood good maple. 